The next day was only one day before the final exam. Taking advantage of this free time, Aiden left his house early and visited both Arthur Wiles and Anthony Kay, respectively. These two had both helped Aiden a lot, and Aiden had always regarded them as his mentors. At Arthur Wiles' house, Aiden also met Davy, Arthur's son, and a child prodigy who had been absent for a long time. He was off in Europe most of the time, studying and entering prestigious mathematics competitions. He was often the only American to participate, but even amongst a group of world-class math prodigies, he almost always carried the first-place trophy back home with him. It was a major point of pride for the Bayside District, making Arthur Wiles' legacy even more glorious. In his pride for his son, Wiles asked Davy to challenge Aiden again. As one could imagine, Davy quickly suffered another disastrous defeat. The father and grandson were suddenly in a low mood. They both picked at their lunch disappointedly. Their endearing misery at having once again failed to best him gave both Aiden and Aunt Susie a laugh. After dinner, Aiden told Wiles about becoming a government consultant, but Wiles was not surprised. He first murmured, Hemingway, that old rascal, he's still working for the Department of Defense, even though he's a dinosaur like me. Although over the years he's made some great achievements, it's embarrassing for me how accomplished his life has been. Wiles chuckled, sipped his coffee and said leisurely, He's done a lot, but he still doesn't have recommendation right like I do. Recommendation right? It was the first time Aiden had heard this phrase. The FBI gives us certain rights when we retire. The right of recommendation is when you are able to directly advocate a top brass for them to hire or fire certain people or take actions, even as a retiree. What? Did you think you could get such a prestigious government job just by being good with a computer? Aiden realized this suddenly. It had seen that the position of consultant was easy to obtain, but of course that was because Wiles was behind it. Compared with the impact of using this recommendation right, Wiles explained that his employment would likely have had to have gone through many different meetings, signatures, and the likes. Hayden was moved when he heard this. When he began to express his gratitude, Wiles stopped him. Of course, I didn't know that you needed two people with recommendations right to recommend a candidate before they're actually hired. Arthur Wiles took a deep look at Aiden and then pointed to the ceiling. Besides me, there are people who are looking after you, but this does not include Hemingway. Not Hemingway? Aiden thought of his new positions and was awed that so many people were willing to advocate for him to get it. Hemingway was the director of the Defense Department. If he did not recommend him, who did? Likely someone with FBI ties, he figured. Was it Director Harris? Aiden vowed to find out. Before leaving the Wiles house, Arthur told Aiden meaningfully, If you have time, you should visit Springfield. There should be a lot of people there who want to see you. Aiden nodded silently. He would go to Springfield, sooner or later, but not now. Get the guidance of a mentor. Career, plus one. In the afternoon, Aiden went to the K home and met with Anthony K, who had been gone on various business trips for a while. As soon as she saw Aiden, Dora happily leapt off of Oliver who rubbed his aching back as Dora leapt into Aiden's arms. Dora's primary school had been closed for a long time. Now she stayed in the villa all day and bullied poor Oliver. Oliver was liberated and immediately cast a grateful look toward Aiden. After playing with Dora for a while, Aiden went to the study to speak with Anthony. He went to visit him for advice on how to expand the Midnight Snack Corner business even more. As the general manager of K-Group, Anthony Kay had developed his business into a leader of the Bayside District automobile industry in recent years. His business experience must not be underestimated. In addition, Aiden had always had a feeling that in addition to Kay Group, Anthony Kay still had some kind of huge industry underwater. Regardless, Aiden did know that many hyper-successful business tycoons. Therefore, it had become Aiden's task today to consult Arthur Wiles on politics and Anthony Kay on business. Anthony Kay listened to Aiden and they spoke about the current situation of the Midnight Snack Corner. Aiden, you have a problem. Aiden was surprised. What was wrong with him? Your fatal flaw is that you like to do everything by yourself, and you are too worried about yourself. Sometimes, if you put things down, you will find a different perspective. You won't burn out so easily. While Aiden was thinking about Anthony Kay's words, Kay continued, What you lack is not talent, but a team. A team. Aiden silently chewed these two words, thinking hard. A well-structured and cooperative team could produce results that you can't imagine. Aiden's brain flashed through his friends and colleagues' own talents. 
and management, there were excellent workers like Olivia. In the media, there was Serena, the queen of the forum. In terms of force, Miller was supreme, and in terms of field combat ability, Doblar was the master. Frank was in charge of using his intelligence network for information. But these people were top-notch in their respective positions. What would happen if he built them up as a team? He recalled Jude Hardy from Night Owl. Although Hardy's ability was top-notch, most of the credit for the successful rise of Night Owl lies in his management team. It was rather black and white. Before that, Aiden only focused on advancing, recruiting talents, but ignored the essential idea of team building. In a team, you don't have to be top-notch in every ability, but you have to be consistent with each other. As a person who had been paying close attention to Aiden's growth, Anthony K clearly saw Aiden's biggest problems. If K didn't wake him up, Aiden would probably have waited a long time to find out the problem on his own. Therefore, Aiden gratefully saluted K. Thank you so much. Your words have brought me to my senses, I think. Get a business tycoon's instruction. Management ability, plus one. Leadership, plus one. Team cooperation ability, plus one. When leaving K's villa, Oliver called out to stop Aiden for a moment. Aiden, my fighting teacher, he wants to meet you. Aiden had no response. His face flashed with embarrassment. Oliver's trainer was one of the most skilled parkour athletes in the country. In order to learn more about Oliver's agility, Aiden had lied to him, saying he had been trained by the same person long ago. But the lie worked too well, and Oliver, honest to a fault, had now accidentally deceived his teacher.